Okay, um, we're gonna start out here to go to Castle Gardens. Oh, we're in Wyoming again. We're coming back from a trip that we've taken. Now, Castle Gardens is a petroglyph site, and it's off of U.S. Highway 2026, and um, it's in the central part of Wyoming. And when you turn off on the dirt road to get to it, which is unpaved, and it is kind of rough, I understand, in places, it's 15 miles, and then I think you turn east and go another six miles to get there. There's a bunch of sandstone outcroppings, which the wind has eroded and making fanciful shapes. And there's a bunch of petroglyphs there, and the Native American uh, rock art, as we'll call it. But when I read about it on the BLM site, that there will soon be some new uh, panels uh, and benches which will be erected, and this will decrease some vandalism that they've had out there where people try to carve into the rocks. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take off in a few minutes. Now I wanna show you this because this might be important. Um, and I'm showing you out the window. We are leaving our motor home here and off the side of the road and unhooking it because it's a rough road that we're going in on. And we're just hoping to be safe till we get back. Okay, come along with me. Gardens is five miles this way. So we're going to head on down this road. Okay, we're here at Castle Gardens. And as you can see, there's a lot of this sandstone. We're going to go through a little gate right here. And it's going to take us by a storyboard. And then we're going to go on the little trail and look at things. This archaeological resources a site is protected by law. So I have to close the guide. It's a unique place, the landscape. And it's a four star stage production process. A place important to many. Okay, indigenous peoples consider these as transformative places that are sacred and need to be respected. We can sign in. Here I am, I'm going on the walk. Sam, you wanna come with me? It's up to you. So we're gonna go down this trail and look at the formations. You wanna go, Sam? No? Okay. I don't think it's a very long trail. It's a beautiful area. I, did, I have always wanted to come out here. I've lived in Wyoming a long time, but I've never uh, come here. So this is interesting to me. The sandstone has all these fanciful formations here to look at and imagine <laughs> it's a beautiful day for a walk anyway and they provided some nice benches for people to sit if they're tired or they just want to rest and look at the formations now they've named some of them and i don't know whether they'll have a sign i don't know i've never been here but the trail isn't a good one little wooden bridge here to cross. Go across that. Oh, you caught up with me, huh, Sam? <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Interesting sight.
over here. Some people have just carved their names in the sandstone. They're really not supposed to do that, but they have. <laughs> Another beautiful place to explore and come out to in, in kind of the middle of nowhere in Wyoming. Come on, Sam. Let's go. Hurry up. We got this little bridge to cross. It goes way up. Look at these rocks here. Okay, we're coming to some petroglyphs. Come on, Sam, we're coming to something here. They've got cordoned off with a little fence. Oh, look at these. Here we've got another bridge to cross here. Look at this one. Now here's where I think we're going to get to see a petroglyph. There are probably many more than this, but we'll see what we can see here. They've got it pretty well marked off here. You're not supposed to go through this. It may be to protect from, there's a, a some falling rocks. And see what's ahead of us? Hmm. So want to protect these formations. Oh, look at this is just such an amazing place. And it's out here in in the semi-arid desert area where there's really nothing like it. I just love to visit places that I've never been to before. And this one I had not been to. And I'm just fascinated by it. It's really lovely. And I'm sure every single person that has walked through these trails and come here, they've tried to think of uh, a name for these different rocks because they're also different and they see different shapes that remind them of different animals. The trail goes on around this way. And in case you never get here, I wanted to film this for you because it's a little inaccessible for a lot of people. You really do. You could make it in a car or truck, I think. But in some places you would need a little bit higher clearance. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? We're going back now, Sam. I think maybe the trail, I don't really see that it's marked here, so I think we're supposed to go on up this way. It looks like to me, I don't think too many people have been that direction. I don't think so. So, let's go see if we're on the right trail going this way, because it isn't marked now. And it is hard to see a trail at all. But down here is an amazing formation. I can just see that. Now we gotta go back on this trail. Cause this just made a little loop. I want you to see that little hole up there in that rock, in the sandstone. I thought it was kind of neat. Let's go. 
there's TJ up there waiting for me on a rock. And 